Hey guys, I am Bianca Octavia. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Today we will be doing a spooky craft just in time for Halloween. And as always, we will be using Mod Podge. We will also be using Treasure Gold and Folk Art Mat. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you what we'll be making today. It's really cool, really fun, and also pretty easy and quick too. So I'm gonna slide these over into the middle and show you. So this is what we will be making today. These are Halloween centerpieces made out of candlesticks and skulls. And then I'll tell you what we made the hats out of in just a second, but I just wanted to show you the project. This is really fun. It is definitely eye-catching. I think it looks really expensive, but you can make it inexpensively. So we will go ahead and we will jump into the project and I will tell you what you will need to make this at home. So I went through the Mod Podge formula and the paints that we'll be using. I'll go ahead and show them to you real quick, actually. So we will be using Treasure Gold and we're going to be using the Mayan Gold color. But you can really use any treasure gold color that you like. I chose to go with gold because I think that's a really rich color and I think that pairs well with black. So for the folk art MAC, I am using the pure black color. And then I am also using the Mod Podge matte formula. Everyone should know what this one looks like by now. The other things that you will need for this project are a candlestick or a candle holder. You're also going to need a plastic skull. And you can pick one of these up from the dollar store. I was able to get these for a dollar. You're also going to need a small paper plate. You're going to need two of them. You're going to need a miniature birthday hat and if you don't have one of these at home or if you can't find any i can tell you what you can do in place of this you're going to need some fake moss this is another thing that you can pick up at the dollar store this bag was one dollar and then you're also going to need some hot glue and a paintbrush so we will go ahead and we will jump into this so the first thing is you don't have to go in any particular order, but the first thing I did was I painted my skull head with my treasure gold color. And I actually already have one here painted. So I'll show you what that looks like once it's dried. So that looks automatically like a hundred dollars <laughs> more like, it doesn't look like it was a dollar anymore. Right. You can see things like this in Home Goods, Kirkland's, so that is what a coat of treasure gold will do to a skull head. Yeah, we love treasure gold here at Plaid, and I think it's worth mentioning, unlike other metallic paints that are like kind of smelly and mm -hmm. have this like weird kind of like mm -hmm. smell that like enters your craft room, uh, yeah. treasure gold does not do that. That's a great thing to note. Also, I would like to note that this is just one coat. I did not do multiple coats. Um, this was a lot of coverage for one coat, but I also didn't want full coverage. I kind of wanted you to see kind of the base color popping through a little bit, but I did want to note that that was a pretty good covering for one coat here. So that is going to be your first step for this project. I'm going to go ahead and set this one off to the side. The next step for this project is to grab a paper plate a miniature one and your birthday hat and we are going to make a witch's hat out of this so this is another thing that's super easy all you're gonna do is grab your black color and you're gonna paint your paper plate the top and the bottom part of it well this is the top and the bottom you're gonna fully paint it black and I already have one here that I've gone ahead and painted so that is what your matte color looks like once it's dried. But we're going to paint our birthday hat together. So let's set this off to the side for just a second. We'll pour out some of our black color here. 
and we will paint our hat together. All right, let's grab a paintbrush. So, like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a miniature birthday hat at home, you can get away with using cardstock. You can also use like a poster board. And all you're gonna do is roll it up into the shape of a cone and then use hot glue to hold it together. I got lucky and found these one year. I guess I bought them for my birthday. But <laughs> these are not the easiest things to find. You usually find the bigger ones. So if you are not able to find the smaller ones like these, you can definitely just make your own at home. All right. So we'll hit this with the blow dryer for just a second. This paint dries really quick. It should take less than 10 minutes to fully dry, but we are going to hit it with the blow dryer for just a second here, just to kind of speed up time here. Just like that, we are pretty much dry. I think that was a pretty good coat for just one one coating. Yeah, it looks really like yeah. clean already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, to assemble your witch's hat, you are going to grab a hot glue gun and you're going to line the rim of your hat with some hot glue. And you're just going to plop it right onto the bottom of your painted paper plate. So we are going to go around here. Also, I would also like to note that if you are looking for a last minute costume headband idea, you do this exact same thing. I would just get a bigger paper plate and maybe a regular size birthday hat. Same thing, attach a string to it and you now have a witch's hat. All right, so let's plop that down right in the middle there. We'll hold that in place for just a second, let it dry. So let's add just a little bit more black paint here. I see a spot that we missed. Stephen, have you decided what you're gonna be following? I have not you actually. Have not? I have to do a, a couple's costume, and so it's going to take some <laughs> deliberation between me and my significant other to land on a solid idea, you know? One year I was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, I love that. <laughs> like, did it have like the crust on the side it and everything? Did. Yeah. That's a good idea. I think I was jelly. <laughs> or was I peanut butter? I can't remember, but yeah. I think I'm gonna be an alien. Oh yeah, are you gonna use your headband or are you gonna do something different? I'm gonna do something slightly different. Okay, well I'm excited to see it. I'm gonna be an alien superstar. Oh, I love that. <laughs> All right, so that is our witch's hat. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'll tilt it just so you can kind of see what it looks like. So we'll let this dry for a few more minutes and then we will come back to it. I am gonna set this over here. So the next step for this project, and again, like I said, you don't have to go in any particular order, um, but now you are going to paint your candlestick in your choice of color. I went with the black. I just really love this color. I think that it looks really rich and really bold, especially when it dries and it's like flat and matte. It looks really, really good. You can see on the candlesticks in front of you just what you're talking about, how like yeah. it almost gets like sandwiched together, the, the gold uh, skull does between the black hat and the black candlestick. Yeah, so let me actually bring one in for just a second, just so you guys can kind of see it. I'm going to tilt it. You can see that really nice color there. Yeah. All right, so I have one here. 
has drying. We'll finish painting it together. We have a few spots here on the back. We'll finish painting it together. And then I'll show you the other candlestick that I have here to the side of me. I actually stacked two to create height. I was wondering about that. I didn't yeah. know if it was one big candlestick or if you stacked them, but yep. now we know. Uh-oh. Let's put some paper down so we don't mess up our table. We can clean it off. Not yeah. a big deal. So this is pretty much covered. We'll hit this with the blow dryer for a second, too. Um, and then I'll talk about how you can create a taller candlestick. So let's just try this for a quick second. And then I'll explain to you how you can combine two candlesticks to make a really tall one. show you just how quick that dries all right so the next step is to grab another paper plate because now we are getting ready to assemble our centerpiece actually before I get to this part I did want to show you really quickly how you can combine two to create one tall candle holder so if you guys can see me from the front for a second here so these are just two candlesticks, and you can use strong adhesive glue to hold them together, maybe like Aileen's fast drying glue, or you can use hot glue, and you just stack them on top of each other to create one tall one. Awesome. Yeah, and you can get something like this from the Dollar Tree as well. These are wood, but they do have glass ones at the dollar store that you should be able to get, and you can create the same effect. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly. I feel like whenever you have a centerpiece that has multiple pieces, it's important to create height. That way everything is like not at the same level and that's just a quick way that you can do that. Definitely. All right, so I'm going to bring our other candle holder back here in the middle. And then you're gonna grab another paper plate and you're gonna paint that black as well. And you're going to grab some hot glue and you are going to line the top of your candle holder and we're gonna sit that right on top. And this is going to be the base for our skull. And when this is all put together, nobody knows that I, these are paper plates. <laughs> like, it literally looks like it came straight out of Home Goods. All right. So we are going to pop this right on top. We'll hold it in place for just a second. And then we are going to grab our painted skull head and we're gonna hot glue it on top of this the same way we just put the plate on. So that should be pretty secure. All right. So now we have our skull head. I'm gonna flip it upside down. We're gonna add hot glue to the parts of the skull that are going to hit the plate. So we'll add some right right around here. I wouldn't suggest painting the bottom of your skull. Um, it won't be seen. You know, you don't have to waste any paint on that part. So you can go ahead and leave that part blank. All right. So we are going to add that right in the middle. And we'll hold that in place for just a second as well. I'm going to add a little bit more. Right around here. There we go. All right. 
Halloween is my favorite holiday. <laughs> it is my favorite holiday as well. Yeah, it allows you to get really creative with no boundaries. <laughs> and nobody can really question <laughs> what you're making because you can do anything for Halloween. You can't do anything for Christmas or Thanksgiving. You can That's do anything true. for Halloween. All right. We'll hold this in place for just a few more seconds just to make sure it stays in place. And then we're gonna add our fake moss. Like I said, you can grab this from the dollar store. And we are going to put this on with our matte Mod Podge. All right. Let's see, I think that should be good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around here. And then I'm going to grab some Mod Podge. Again, I am using the matte formula. If you have gloss or you have any other formula at home, that should work. For this, we're not necessarily going for the look. We just need it to hold the moss in place. And any formula that you have should do that. Any one of the basic formulas. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pour it directly into the plate here. I'm going to try not to do too much. I'm going to use a paintbrush to kind of spread that around. And we'll put a little bit more over here. All righty. I am going to grab a paintbrush, kind of move it around. And we are just going to sprinkle the moss right on top of it. I feel like that element of this project kind of gives it a pop of color. And I also kind of feel like in my mind, the reason I added it, I felt like it made it look like the skull was sitting in a graveyard. Mm. That is the effect that I was going for when I chose to add the moss in here. But what you could also do, which would be really cool for this project, you could cut off the top of your skull. I know that sounds crazy, <laughs> but you could cut off the top of your skull and put in floral foam and turn it into a floral arrangement to kind of tie in with the moss that you're adding down here. That would be cool. Yeah, if you didn't want to do a witch's hat or if you wanted to combine a floral head with one of your witch's hat skulls. Okay, so let's set that off here to the side for a second. All right, and we are going to sprinkle this on. This might get a little messy. So whenever I do projects like this, I really like to use my podge because although hot glue works, hot glue is not always seamless. It sometimes leaves behind like big glue chunks and it's visible. Um, you also have the strings. Mm. My podge, it dries clear. It doesn't leave behind big chunks. And it just looks a lot more seamless afterwards. So it's always going to start off white, but give it a little while and it will dry totally clear. Also, I feel like my podge is a lot more forgiving. Like if I wanted to rip this up and start over, the hot glue might rip up the paint. The Mod Podge won't do that same thing. That's true. Yeah. So let's see. Let's add a little bit more around here. And if you want your moss layers to be a little bit thicker, you can pour Mod Podge right on top of this and then sprinkle some more on top. Like I said, it will dry clear. So you don't have to worry about the look of it. Okay, let's add a little bit more over here to the side. You know what else would be a good idea? This just ran across my mind. If you didn't want to do like a floral arrangement, you could still cut the top of the head open and this could be like a candy dish for your guests. Oh yeah. When they come by. I like Or that even idea. for like the kids. I think that would be really cool. Okay, so I think that's that's pretty good. 
But, you know, of course, if you want it to be more full and kind of like falling off, you can definitely add more Mod Podge around the rim of your plate. So, we are getting to the last step here, and that is the witch's hat that we created. We are going to hot glue that right on top of here, and this project will be complete. But before I let you guys go, I will give you another quick design idea to take with you that also uses Mod Podge. All right, so I'm just adding hot glue to the center of my plate. And then I'm going to put this right on top of our skull head. And I kind of want it to be a little bit slanted. I don't want it right on top. So let's go like this a little bit. We're going to hold it in place and I will turn it around and show you guys. All right. So this is just a really quick easy cheap project but it looks great in the end i feel like this is definitely a conversation piece if mm -hmm. you put it in the middle of the dining room table yeah i was gonna for say sure. i think it's great halloween <laughs> home decor yeah all right i think that should be on there pretty good we'll hold it for about four more seconds here and then we'll turn it around and we will show you guys all right, I think he should be in place. Okay. Let's turn it around and let's see what it looks like from the front. Steven can see, I cannot. <laughs> it looks great. It looks great? Okay. Let's put all of them together. And actually, let's move this up for just a second. So a design idea that I was going to give you guys when setting your centerpiece, if you rip some book pages from an old book and you kind of set them underneath your skull head candle holders here, they kind of look like creepy spell book pages. Mm -hmm. You can make it nice and full, you know, depending on how wide or long your table is. I think that it pulls it all together. And if you want it to be something permanent, you can use my Posh to hold all of your pages together. Yeah, I love that idea of it, like mm -hmm. going all the way down your, your dining yep. room table. That would be a really cool runner. And then we have a snake here just to kind of accent it. And a spider. I'm sure you guys can't see me at all now, but... <laughs> This is our centerpiece. So this is really cool. I don't really feel like this requires like any type of skill level when it comes to crafting. All you have mm -hmm. to do is know how to paint and add hot glue. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our project from today. Again, I will go over the colors one more time before we get out of here. Let me slide all of these out of my face really quickly. <laughs> That's another plus of having the book pages there that you can just slide, just them, all slide them all over at once. Yeah. Yep. You could even like burn the edges to make it look even more Ooh, creepier. Yeah. Okay. So just one more time, if you're wondering what color we use, I use treasure gold, Mayan gold. But like I said, I think any of the treasure gold colors would be beautiful, even if you went with silver. Yeah, that would be cool too. That would be really cool. I love treasure gold. And you could actually even paint the candlesticks in this color, too. I think that would be great as well. And the black color that I used was the Folk Art Matte Pure Black. We do have a licorice color as well that's similar. So if you don't see the pure black, you can pick up the licorice, and you should get the same effect. Well, close to it. And then, once again, we use the Mod Podge Matte Formula to hold our fake moss onto the candle holder. And if you do want to do the table runner I did that I just spoke about, you can use this same Mod Podge formula to connect your pages together. If you want to make a really long runner that kind of runs all the way off the table. So these are all of the products that we use today. I hope you guys are inspired. Yeah, there's been lots of good tips here that I've taken away. Oh, great. 
Um, as always, if you guys try this at home, please use hashtag plaid crafts. We would love to see what you come up with at home. If you tweak the idea and you do your own creative design, I would love to see it. And we will see you guys back next Wednesday at 3 o'clock.